All right, so I'm gonna put this video uh, out there for y'all because short locks need love too. You know what I'm saying? And nobody gives short locks any love, right? So I'm here to give all of y'all with short locks some love because I got short locks and we all need love, right? So if you got short locks, here is your maintenance video. All right, so here we go. So if you got, if you've just started your locks or if you're growing your hair out and you're about at that point where you're ready to start locks, okay? So you maybe grown, you got like an inch or so, you know what I mean? You've grown it six months to a year or, um, yeah, you've grown it six months to a year and you're ready to get started, right? These are for my people who have, uh, maybe even started with coils, uh, started with crochet, started with the sponge, started with towel rub, two strand twist, whatever it may be. If you got shorter locks and you just started it and you're like, yo, when do I wash it? How long do I wait? Do I wash and condition it? What do I do? What do I wear to sleep? How often do I retweet? I got you. All right, here we go. So which, when, while you're in that stage, right, at that time, first of all, appreciate that time, embrace that time, enjoy that time, love that time. It's a great time, right? You are, you are, you're taking your hair, you're manipulating it, and you're creating your own look, bro. It's an amazing time. Enjoy that shit, right? So what happens is if you're starting, I'm going to talk specifically to my sponge people because that's how I started mine, right? So right the the philosophy about why i started with the sponge versus starting with coil right from that short is because i don't like the short coil or the really tight twisted starter lock look when your hair is just too short and all you see is scalp and you just got locks laying to a side and all you see are scalp I was trying to avoid that like, though. I was like, I'm not doing that because, again, this is my fourth set of locks, and I've done that three other times, and I hated it every single time. You know what I mean? That's why, at, like, my second and third time getting locks, I always started my locks in, in the fall because I'm from Pittsburgh, so you got to think, if I'm from Pittsburgh for, like, six months, it's hat weather. So I would just have a dewy on and a scully, and you're not seeing my starters, right? But now I'm down south. It's always hot. It ain't even, I can't even be doing that, right? So at the time I started my locks, my hair was grown out. And this is like at the time of the Duke starting five cut, right? Do y'all remember the Duke starting five when, when all the niggas had their hair grown out, but they kept their lineups crispy, right? So the whole philosophy behind that cut is it, it, like with black hair, if you're growing it out, it really doesn't matter what it looks like up here. If your lineup is crispy, if your taper is crazy, the whole thing looks good, right? So that's the philosophy behind the Duke starting five cut. So I was like, all right, I'm seeing people sponge their hair, right? And when you, when, um, right, when people sponge their hair, the sponge was creating like little sections of curls in their hair, right? Like the shorter hair, like the short, that was maybe like an inch or two long and they was, not the super long hair because when it's super, when it's up here and you sponge it, it don't do it as well because it's not, it's not, it's not able to pull, the hair is too long for it, for the sponge to twist it up. The shorter the hair is, the better the curl you're gonna get from the sponge, right? That's why they made the, the, the sponge with like, the sponge teeth in it, right? That's for longer hair. So it can catch the hair and, and twist it up. But if your hair is shorter, just do the one with the holes and it'll section it off for you, right? So when I saw that, I liked the way those sections look better than like going to get, um, like better than a grid section or the diamond part section. I, although I do like diamond parts. Diamond parts are hard. Dude, like, that shit looks dope. Um, to me, it looked, I like the, um, like the fish fish scale section that people do when they when they do coils right um i like that natural part better than the grid part with the middle part and your i i hate that i think that looks terrible but no if that's you that that's your hair you know what i'm saying if you like it fuck my funky ass opinion that don't mean shit right but for my hair i didn't want no parts of that right so i saw the sponge and it looked like the sponge is taking the hair in its natural curl pattern and it's, you know what I'm saying, is whipping it into its own little section. So when when my hair, cause I started, I was just, I had a fade and I just stopped getting the top cut, right? I would go to the barber and I'd be like, don't touch the top. If you touch the top, it's a wrap for you, dog. Don't even look up there. Just give me a fade, line me up and I'm out. Don't even, don't, 
I don't even want to see your Clippers get near the top, bro, where, or it's on, bro. I promise you, right? So I let that grow, and that's what's growing out. I was sponging it, and I'm looking at it, and I'm like, all right, so this is like taking my natural curl pattern and just in imparting to hair, parting the hair where the hair wants to go because you have to think you have no control over it. You're just using it and you're, and you're twisting it up and the hair is just going where it naturally wants to, like, you know what I'm saying? Where your curl pattern, the way it wants to grow, that's where it was going. So when your hair is really short, I feel like that's the best way to start that out, right? So I, I did that and as it would grow out, and as it would get longer, once it got longer for me to grab it and twist it up, I started to go through and I section with my hands myself, grab some hair, and I'd be like, ah, oh, that's too thin, or ooh, that's too thick. I don't want it like that. And then I would just go through my head and twist all the little curls that the sponge created, all the sections that the sponge created. I would take those and I would feel it out and I'd be like, all right, this is too thin or it's too thick. And I would twist those up, right? And I let that grow out. Right. So some of y'all might be in that stage now to where you've sponged it and it's getting a little longer and it's getting more defined. And you're like, all right, what exactly do I do with this now? I got you. Here we go. So once you're at that, once you're at that point, right, to where it's getting longer, you're sponging, you're washing it. Right. Stop washing it. OK, because at, at that stage, right, when it's down here, 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 here was my thinking. Right. Rock with me on this. I'm like, okay, so I got these little curls right now, real short. What if I start training the hair, start twisting the hair in the locks, training the hair to grow out into this lock, right? Eventually, after a month or two, it's going to lock up. Them ends, them little tiny, those joints are going to be locked, right? And you're not washing it? I wouldn't wash it at all. No, no, let me, let me stop. Wash it once a month. Don't even, don't. Don't do that. That's nasty. You don't have to do that. It'll be all right. Okay. So wash it once a month. They'll stay in. Right. But after a month or two, they're really going to stay in. Cause I remember I was worried. Cause I went to Miami and my hair's like at this length. It's maybe two, three inches. It, it ain't really like if it's wet, I can feel it shake. But if it's dry, it ain't moving. Right. No shake to it at all. None of that. But if it's wet, I'm like, oh, my shit is long. It wasn't. Okay. So I go to my, I'm going to Miami and I'm like, I don't know if how it's going to last. Will it stay in? Am I going to need to sponge it every day? Like what's going to happen? Right. So I'm like, even if it, even if it does get jacked up, right. I got it to this point once it's going, if it gets messed up, it's going to take me, you know, a couple hours to get it back to this point, which I don't feel like doing, but at least I know I'll be able to recreate, you know, the look. So I go to Miami, I'm in the ocean, I'm in the pool every day, and nothing happened, fam. Nothing. They didn't come loose. I mean, some hairs might have came loose, but for the most part, all the little ones I had twisted up, them ends, tight, dog. They was not coming out, right? So I'm like, all right, bet then. So at that point, when they weren't coming out from like a, not a week, it was four or five days of ocean, pool, you know what I'm saying? Miami activities, shenanigans, dog. All that, they didn't come out. So I'm like, all right, all right, bet. So now, instead of just washing once a month, now that I've started small and I've got the, a good base of locked ends, now, since the ends are locked, I've got the ends locked, the hair will just grow out. And even if it's, even if the roots aren't fully separated or look fully clean, I at least have the ends locked. So I could, if I want to, I can pull an end the ends lock, so all the hair that grew out is locked into the end. When I pull the end down, it separates from the rest of the hair, and then I can twist it down to the root, and it's a nice looking lock, right? So now, now that I'm at that point, I'm like, okay, I'm going, I'm going back to washing my hair every two weeks, because you know I just I don't wash my hair every day. That's you know, that's not what I do. Um, I, that's it's stripping too much off your scalp and all that, right? So. I switched to washing my hair once a week. I mean, twice a week, not twice, every two weeks, wash my hair every two weeks. But after I wash, now I'm washing and conditioning in the shower. When I started, I was washing in the shower. When I get out the shower, I would put the can two leave-in conditioner in my hair. Then I would sponge it and then I would twist it while my hair was drying, right? So now that the ends are locked, I was still using the can too, 
but now that, you know, I'm old, you know what I'm saying? Now that my hair is longer, I can tell y'all, you don't need the Cantu leave-in conditioner. Just wash and condition it in the shower and rinse it thoroughly. Thorough rinse. Over rinse it. Rinse it till the hot water's gone, okay? Rinse, rinse it, because you don't want no buildup. You don't want no mildew. None of that. Rinse yo shit, fam. Rinse it, all right? After you wash and condense it, condition and you rinse it thoroughly, once you get out the shower, oil your scalp, fam. Oil your scalp. Because listen, we're not oiling our scalp enough, man. we just not. You got to oil your scalp, dog. Come on, man. Think about it. If you had a dry, crusty scalp, dirty scalp, how your hair, how your follicle, how you pushing through for your hair to grow? It ain't happening. Now, imagine a place with a clean scalp, no lint, no buildup, nice and oiled. The hair just gonna slip right through. It's just gonna keep growing. It's gonna be happy to grow in that type of environment, right? So oil your scalp, fam. And if you're not free forming, this is also when you wanna separate any of your locks. But like when it's really short like that, that's when you're going through and twisting each individual one, right? It, it's not long enough to clamp down, so don't even worry about that, bro. Just twist it. Just twist it, bro. Wrap that loose. Like, And when I say twist it, I don't mean twist it to the point where you're putting stress on your roots, right? You want to twist it until it's tight. All right, it's tight. Now, now you're just wrapping the loose hair that is in the that's like hanging outside the lock now you're just wrapping that around the lock and rubbing that loose hair into the lock trying to work it into the lock right when you can like twist it and let it come back twist it let it come back because you're just trying to wrap that loose hair around the lock you're not trying to just twist it as tight as it can and put all types of pressure on your roots that's how you're getting breakage Okay, so when you're that short, when your hair is that short and you're at that short lock stage, all right, if, if, it, if the ends aren't locked, wash it once a month, okay? And in between the washes, right, after you wash it, you need to be twisting it till it's dry. You need to be twisting it all day, all right? Any of my ex wavers out there who have come to the lock side, you know how it is when you're getting waves. You're getting strokes in all day, you know what I'm saying? You're getting your strokes all day long because trust me if i didn't have these the 360s would be spinning all right call the coast guard because it'd be nasty out here trust me i'm not a slouch all right so when you're when your hair is short you need to be twisting your hair all day like like a waver would be brushing his hair all day you need to be training your hair to stay in that section and to stay in that lock that's what that's for right so once it's finally locked and you feel like you're secure within your locks and you can get them wet without them coming out or you're not worried about it looking terrible because it ain't i'm trust me it's not it's gonna look dope right because once them ends are locked and you wash it and you gotta cut it, it's it looks so dope bro i promise you you're gonna love that stage right looks so dope so once them ends are locked go ahead and wash it every two weeks after you wash it, oil your scalp, twist your, twist your young boys, your young girls until it's dry and keep twisting after that to train the hair to go into them locks. All right? Listen, all I want is for y'all to love your hair and not give a fuck about anybody else's opinion about your hair. All right? That's all I want. That's all I want. So if I can share my information with y'all to help y'all feel good, to help y'all feel confident about your hair and growing your locks out, hey, man, I'm happy to do that. Because, again, this is my fourth set, and I've been, I, I've been verbally assaulted by family members every time I grow my hair out. Trust me. They look at me crazy, dog. Absolutely crazy. Okay? But there had to come a point in my life where I had to accept what I wanted, what I felt, you know what I'm saying? Because like I've always felt like I should have long hair. That's just how I feel. You know what I'm saying? Like I feel like I look better, I feel better when my hair is long, right? But other people be, oh, you look so nice with a clean cut. And after a while, I had to be like, you know what? Fuck your opinion, dog. Like because because you think a way about my hair, I gotta have my hair that way. Nah, bro, I'm not doing it no more. Okay, so. I want y'all to have that level of fuck offery. You know what I'm saying? I want y'all to have that level. All right? So listen, DM me if you got any questions. Scroll down into my IG. I documented that whole time with pictures. You know what I'm saying? I wasn't really doing that many videos back then 
because I was a little confident. I was like, I'm on my phone. I don't, I don't have the quality of video. That's another thing. If you want to document your journey, just start doing it. We don't give a fuck about the quality, bro. We just want to see your hair. Trust me. Shorty, we just want to see your locks. So go ahead, record them, do it, put it out. We just want to see it, right? So, so yeah, scroll down on the page. It's all there. Uh, I hope this was helpful for y'all. If you have any questions, hit me in the DM. So, yeah, until next time, which is when I take these out, which will be pretty soon. You know what I'm saying? I'll holla at y'all. Peace.